Hey, another quick tip from Danger Man. This one's really simple, and that is when you're playing a large bunker, you need to be aware of both sides. Most of the time we're playing in a bunker that is small enough that we really can only play one side and we can see to the other side of it at all times and we can know if we're going to be flanked or if there's any liabilities to the other side. But there are times when you play a very large bunker and you have to be aware of how to play a large bunker, at least when you're playing solo. So this tip is about how to play a large bunker solo. Now I'm going to show you just how. You can see that I have this large structure here that if I want to check the left side, I have to physically move over to that side to then start checking it and shooting it. However, if I'm playing a large bunker and I can back off, I widen my light of sight, okay, and now I can just look and see if there's any attackers that are going to give me a hard time over there. And if I need to take a shot, well, I can either A, switch hands, but quite honestly, because I can see there, all I have to do is shoot. Turn and shoot, and I can still use my dominant hand. Doesn't mean I can't do this, because then if I, if, I, if I switch over, I can now push even further into this inside lane and see more. So the idea is, is that on a big bunker, play as far from it as you can to increase your line of sight so that you can shoot without having to move your body. Now, in the absence of that, if you are playing tight and you have to be in tight, then just make certain that you do continuously check the other side. That's how you play a big bunker. It's too much for any man!